Hi everyone, in this video I'll be talking about water ingress, leaks, uh, water basically getting into your car, particularly of course this car over here, but if you've got water coming into your car, if you've got leaks and things getting in, then this video should be able to help you out in general, no matter what car you've got, should be able to give you some advice or some hints and tips at least. Uh, but of course I'll be focusing on the car at hand, which is this one, which is an RX 400H. All right, so um, mine had a fault, which you'll have seen in my last video. You know, the water is still here in the light. As you can see here, there's the water line just here. Still there, like I haven't, I haven't been able to mess with that, to be honest. Now, what we're gonna look at, first of all on this, is the, the boot, okay? I'm gonna show you what happened with the boot. I'm just gonna make some space in it. All right, I've made some space here on one side of it, and it is tricky to do with one hand, but let's see what I can do. I'm just gonna open up this panel, okay? Uh, one second, I'm just gonna open up this panel, okay? There's a, a video which shows you how to dismantle the uh, the underneath of the boot, okay, so all the compartments. I'll put that in the description, so you can have a look at that. So I'm press the button to release, okay. As you can see now, the lid is a bit loose, to be honest there. The lid is a bit loose, and it's because I haven't closed it properly yet. I'm still keeping an eye on uh, the water situation. That's my battery case. Okay. Look at that. I am proud of the situation. Um, let's go extra mile for you guys and uh, put some light on this for you. Hopefully that helps a bit. Right, okay. Now that stops me from pointing at things. Let me see if I can hold it with one hand. Okay, this should do something for us. Right, okay. So, after I'd followed the video, in fact, first, of course, look at my previous video and you'll see about water ingress on there uh, and about the fault I had, the fault, um, I'll stick the code here somewhere, it's that fault, uh, which was like check hybrid system, uh, a VSC fault, okay, which is vehicle stability control um, fault, and it's it came from wet batteries, okay? So we've got to have a look at where the water's coming in from, all right? This looks like... See these marks here? They are liquid related, aren't they? They've got to be. Um, anyway, so in my last video, you'll see uh, the situation. Do have a look at that. After that, I was like, I will have a look at the boot. Now then, the boot was, I've got to say, the main place that water, well, it's 50-50. Definitely coming in from the roof, but there was puddles and puddles in here. Uh, seriously, it was crazy. If I have the footage, which I'll see, if I have the footage of um, the puddles which I found in the back, I'll stick those those um, videos here somewhere, okay? But I'll point out where the puddles were, okay? Over here, this bit right here, right? There's a little bit there which is like... Uh, it's lower, let's say, than, than, than this surface. That, that part is lower down, okay? That was proper full see if i can just get my shadow off it basically just there proper full now look let me get the camera in there for you come on let's get the camera moving let's go and get some light in there it's been so dark because it's winter over here of course it's been so dark it just takes the mick i've only got like an, an hour to do things and i'm not in the nine to five grind of life okay so look over here there's a grommet, look. You can see the hole there, and uh, the grommet. Now that grommet I've lifted up. Um, so I've, I've removed that from the body, lifted it up, and in fact I've tied it up with the, this wire. I've tied up this, this, this cable, and that basically keeps the whole thing up and in the air. And as a result, any water that comes in will go straight out of there. And no joke, that was a proper puddle, okay? Now, same over here. Um, there was a grommet there and I've just pushed it through because honestly it was just was not doing its job um, water wasn't going through there it was just piling up on top uh, once it piles up on top as you drive it's just gonna roll around the back and accumulate okay um, and don't look down there what you'll see 
you see that? See this white thing? If I can get over here to it, I can't even reach to it because of all I'm doing. So just over here, what you'll see here, that's a plastic bag. So what you'll see is, there's a gap on this side of the car, and one on the other side, opposite side. And basically this, this bottom bit of the chassis just continues through forward to where the batteries are under the seats. So I've stuck um, a plastic bag there. Um, now I know that this is not good for battery ventilation. That's what these gaps will be for, for battery ventilation, okay? So do this one at your own risk, okay? The batteries do need to be ventilated. They do need to stay, stay cool. So just be smart about that. I've done this to stop water going forwards. I'm trying to prevent any water going near the batteries. Okay, so that's that's this side basically. Okay, so there you go. No joke, guys. This was full of water. It was everywhere. Since I've made these adjustments, look at it. It's dry. Look, bone dry. Um, I don't know how good this is going to be for rust. Of course, what you want to do long term is prevent the water coming in. That's the real solution, isn't it? Not just letting it come in and flow straight through, which will help short term, uh, but long term, you really want to stop the water coming in. And I'll talk about that as well in a minute. Let's look at the other side, okay? One sec. So I'll close this side down. All right, here's the other side, opening it up. This is like the bigger, the bigger side. Again, bear in mind, I haven't reconnected this yet. I'm still uh, testing phase at the moment. So there's bolts missing, um, all intentional, because I do want to keep an eye on this for, for a bit. Uh, in fact, I might, I might look at closing it actually now and screwing it down because I'm really impressed with how dry this is. Right, okay, again, here we go. Get the light in there. Okay, let's try and keep the camera shadow out if we can. Right, so here again, an area which was genuinely full of water. So much water coming into here. Absolutely mind blowing. And what it's doing is it's coming in and it's just, it's just gathering there. Proper gathering there. Then when you drive, when it picks up a little bit of G-force, it's going. It's moving around and it's going straight along these channels here forwards to your battery to your hybrid battery okay and again bear in mind over here see if I can see if I can show you so I'll get some light on it you probably can stuff it there. there you go see that plastic bag there just stuffed in there again to stop water going forwards okay again bear in mind um, that I'm pretty sure that section is, is for um, airflow for to keep the batteries cool but I'm pretty sure from what I saw when I removed all of this uh, this this boot section and when I removed the battery sorry when I removed the actual seats that there was ample space for airflow so I'm not concerned and I've not had any issues with airflow and uh, battery staying cool not just that uh, I have kept like another part of the uh, the part of the boot open like you'll see um, the part which if you continue forward on on, on this here uh, all the way forwards you'll see at the end of this this stuff this carpet at the front it uh, it clips onto the back of the seats all right instead of clipping onto the seats I've left that unclipped so it leaves a section open and that'll let the batteries breathe Okay, so I, I really am not worried. So, look here again, right? Uh, again, what you're going to see is a grommet, which I've now lifted to let water out. Let's see if we can catch it for you on the camera. Uh, let me see if I can just sort the lens, sort the angle out for you. There. You can see that, can't you? Look at that, one minute. Let's get it right up to it for you. There. Okay, that is a grommet, which I've lifted, again, using a bit of wire here. Okay, and I've done it. So lift up the grommet, let's get you a better angle if we can. Where is it? God, it's so dark. Okay there, can you see that? Just about. 
Just about see it. That grommet is lifted up. All right, when you lift that grommet, that's gonna let the water out. And trust me, if you're having any kind of water issues with your car, if you're getting this like wet battery fault, um, battery isolation fault, have a look over here, okay? Do have a look over here if you're getting water in. Okay, very important. There was so much water over here that I'm pretty sure this is at least 50% of the problem with water ingress. All right, I'll get on to like stopping water coming in in a moment. But first thing I'd say, let the water out. All right, now when it comes out, so when the water comes out, right, right, really interesting. Bear in mind, I've opened, I've opened grommets that were closed. Okay, the water came out from, let's get some light on it again, it's pretty dark. Here, the water coming out of there. So it's like it's designed to come out from, from that grommet I lifted out of here. But because the grommet was closed, nothing's coming out. Of course, that grommet is designed to let, you know, that like cabling in, wiring in. But it is definitely needed for water in this situation. And it's same on the other side, one second. Battery case, we'll put it back in. Look at that, look at that. Here. It's got a little, little, little like channel for water to come out of. That's where it was all coming, coming out from once I lifted up the, uh, lifted up the grommet. Okay, so next thing. Uh, how to stop water getting in, right? In my last video, you'd have seen that I siliconed the, uh, can you see these? Yeah, tops of these here. I siliconed these. The silicon is there and it's still just as disgusting as the first time I showed you, all right? But bad news, even after I'd siliconed them, all right, some water was still getting in. So I had two options now. Yeah, I would either, so I had two options now. Either I silicon all along this channel, okay, because there is a definite channel here, all right? Either I silicon all along it, um, but I thought before I do that, I want to test and see if that would solve it. I'm not trying to silicon the whole thing and still water comes in, if you know what I mean. So what I did was, I hunted for some waterproof tape, some heavy duty, hard, tough, waterproof tape. Lucky for me, it's black. It really does not stand out unless you're looking for it. And again, you know, shouldn't really be looking at the car in, with that much depth, if you know what I mean. So this is um, Gorilla, it's that Gorilla stuff. Okay, waterproof. Uh, and good news, well, in fact, I'll tell you what I did it first. So I got it and I taped it, look, all the way along here, look, all the way along here. Okay, I'll we'll just see it hopefully. All the way along, all to the front, okay. Same on the other side, super quick, let me just show you. Okay, it's not like the most glamorous look on a on a car, but trust me, it does not stand out, no one can tell, unless they're actually looking for it. I've had no one say anything to me yet. Okay, bear in mind, I'm only doing this just to test it, just to see if after I've done this, the water stops, okay? And it did, it has done. So that's the great news. As soon as I did that, water ingress, like 95% gone. So now I know that if I silicon that, sorted, done. Um, but I didn't put that tape just there. I'll show you where else I've put it. Okay, one second. Right, let's take the lens off, give you a better look. Let's put the lens here for a second. All right, look, okay. Okay, so look at this. It's here, see that? Okay, that's tape as well. I'll be honest with you, I don't like it there because if you look, this bit is lifted and it doesn't really stick down. So Gorilla, you're losing some points here because honestly, you say it sticks to all kinds of stuff, but that's not sticking. But not to worry, it still helps. Okay, so that, that's one thing there. All right, now next, I'll show you where else I've put it. One minute, it comes down there goes in here, have a look at car, you'll see, and it comes out, like, down here somewhere, right, and it's just stupid. So what I did was, I've taped it here, look, look, that's taped, all right, okay, again, look, look at the parts where it doesn't stick. Anyway, that's taped there, 
come down here and I've taped this I don't know why that keeps breaking second time it's broken there so I might redo that a little bit so yeah look nice they've gone right around nice and neat as tight as I can in there look other side okay again over here at the top and look at that again it's lifted so I'm not a fan of this don't like that that could cause me some trouble and then it is again it comes down the channel okay and it's it normally goes into here but I've stopped that so I'd rather it go above the plastic and then down here and out okay so so that bit's that, that bit's done there and again down here oh I know why uh, oh it pushes in I know why it does that that's fine that's just the way it closes so I'll leave these as it is but yeah into here all right and no joke doing this has massively improved the situation massively and again this is like more of a test it's not a permanent fix uh, I will look at siliconing this going forward um, so right okay so that's that now let me show you something else right okay so people have people have mentioned that there's water ingress or trouble like sim or, or similar problems that occur because of the sunroof look at this seal look at this seal look look it's broken there I, I actually reattached this seal I didn't really look at it but like I reattached it um, it kind of came off a little bit and if you look at this watch this if you can see from profile view, you can't see it very well here it's a little bit lifted it's a bit lifted there and I feel like that should be quite smooth and straight because that's lifted when the sunroof opens that gets a little bit stuck and it changes position because it gets stuck as the sunroof goes in and into the roof that's a problem and I'm pretty sure that water uh, that, I'm, that I'm getting a water leak because of this sunroof and if you do have that then apparently it comes in somewhere around here if you have a problem it, it comes in around here it's supposed to actually go out of the car from this area so it goes outside but if if that tubing is uh, blocked it'll come in brilliant just what you want right it comes in from there so uh, I don't want to touch that so I'm not gonna in that with, that with this part I just hope if it comes in it drains out now the last thing so you open the uh, the back door here you're gonna to want to keep an eye on where water's coming in from so what I've done is I've grabbed this carpet and lifted it away okay main reason is because right here guys is the is like the usual suspect for where water is okay so no joke if you are getting the fault battery isolation fault uh, check VSC check hybrid system okay lift up this bit of the carpet lift it up give it a good push and have a look here in fact even do it as the first thing if you want yeah do have a look here and, and look for water because as long as the other side of the car is on the pavement this side's on the road so this side is tilted down and you lift this carpet you are going to see water okay you are going to see it and you're going to know so do you can just push this and uh, you can uh, you'll see you'll see all right so that should cover pretty much everything all right uh, if you get that fault check by that by that side you know by that door tilt the car that way this side this side on the pavement opposite side on the road lift up that bit of carpet you know and, and have a look check the boot I'll put the video in the description which will uh, show you how to dismantle the boot check the boot trust me there's going to be water there if you're getting any water coming in um, if it's coming in from the roof get that gorilla tape tape some areas off um, give yourself a fighting chance to actually assess it good luck with it and uh, see you in the next one take it easy oh and do hit subscribe any subscribers so see you later